Borrelia virus kills cancer cells. We have here a mouse with a tumor implanted on the hind flank. In the next few minutes, we'll see how real virus kills cancer cells and causes this tumor to regress. To understand how the real virus kills cancer cells, we'll first compare a normal cell with a cancer cell. Note that the healthy cells shown here are covered with a variety of surface proteins and receptors. These healthy cells grow as a result of a growth factor which binds to the receptor. This in turn activates the molecular pathway shown here. This series of protein interactions is called the RAS pathway and it is responsible for regulating cell growth by sending periodic signals to the cell's nucleus. In comparison to normal cells, many cancer cells have a predominance of one type of receptor on their surface. These cells are therefore capable of interacting with numerous growth factors. In other types of cancer, a mutation in the RAS pathway may no longer be controlled by extracellular growth factors. Without this regulation, the pathway accelerates out of control and continuously bombards the nucleus with signals for cell growth. In this study, the real virus was introduced into both healthy and cancer cells through direct injection of the virus into a tumor on a mouse. In normal healthy cells, the RAS pathway is not very active and cannot be used by the virus to replicate itself. In cancer cells, however, the highly active RAS pathway promotes viral replication. The virus uses resources of the cancer cell to make its own kind, and progeny viruses quickly fill the interior of the cell. Ultimately, the cell ruptures, releasing a barrage of viruses. This chain reaction continues until all the cancer cells are killed. The end result is regression of the tumor on the animal.